We're now over uh, the Hollywood Freeway. The Hollywood sign had a narrow escape in a recent California brush fire. It may not be so lucky in the future. More heat, more drought, and more frequent fires are in the forecast for the West Coast, according to the UN Climate Change Panel's latest report. All caused by the diminished mountain snowpack that global warming is predicted to bring. There'll be more competition for the Southwest's already scarce water reserves, and more heat waves in all parts of the country, and more flooding in low-lying areas of the Southeast. But the most severe effect of global warming over the next century won't be felt in the prosperous West. It'll be faced by those in the world least able to endure it, the poor. Tropical areas, particularly sub-Saharan Africa, will see increasing heat and drought, crop failure and famine. The low-lying river deltas and shorelines of Asia will lose their ongoing battle against rising waters. We're going to be the worst sufferers and poor not only in the poorest countries but poor even in the rich countries. So I think uh, we really as a global community have to worry about the implications of climate change for the poorest people. But here's the dilemma. Those poor countries argue that they will now suffer due to global warming caused by greenhouse gases produced in the rich industrialized world. While at the same time they're being told not to produce more greenhouse gases of their own as they try to industrialize their way out of poverty. The scientific argument about global warming is over. It's a political argument now. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London. I'm Jerry Bowen in Los Angeles. The dire warnings in the UN report come as no surprise in the American West, where devastatingly costly wildfires have become the norm. Southern California's massive 2003 Grand Prix blaze was thought to be exceptional at the time. At 60,000 acres, it cost $60 million to control and a billion dollars more in damage to homes and power lines. Fire officials say if the UN report is right, the Grand Prix was just a practice lab. Add into what we see with the climate change, now you're just pouring on a very high fuel, if you will, onto the whole fire, which could create something very catastrophic, but unfortunately it may not be unusual. Climate change is already seen as the main culprit in the more intense wildfires, according to a study that blames drought and too much tender dry fuel for a dramatic change over more than three decades. In just 34 years, the average time between discovery and control of wildfires has gone from seven and a half to 37 days. The length of the fire season has increased 78 days. The Bush administration says the report points up the need for better forest management and expertise to deal with global warming. We've got several decades of work to bring our forests back to more natural conditions that makes them less prone to these catastrophic fires but it's the short term that's the problem, and the outlook is troubling. There's been a big change in the weather, and out west that may mean a never-ending fire season. Jerry Bowen, CBS News, Los Angeles.